Okay, so this will be our third example of using Pascal's triangle for combinations. So again, if you didn't check out the first two examples, be sure to check those out before trying this example. This one will be a little bit more challenging. So let's get right into it. It says there are four types of apples, three types of pears, and five types of oranges. And it says if you choose three apples, two pears, and three oranges, how many combinations are there? So when you're doing this problem, you first want to look at your total. Right, so my totals occur at the beginning. I have four types of apples, three types of pears, and five types of oranges. So the highest I'm going up to is five. So I wanna make sure I draw out Pascal's triangle so that I include five in the diagonal. So for example, I have one, one, and one. All right, then I have two, one, and one. Right, so just drawing out Pascal's triangle. So again, this diagonal right here is what we're talking about. We want to make sure we go up to 5. Remember, this is talking about our exponent value. And when we're dealing with combinations, this diagonal, these numbers here, 1, 2, 3, right, that's talking about your total. So we want to go up to 5 here. So just continuing on with this pattern. And we need one more row, so this will give us 5. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and just circle our diagonal so it's a little easier to see. And from here, it's pretty straightforward. So let's do the apples first. There are four types of apples, so that's our total. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my diagonal. I'm going to look for four. Okay, here it is. I'm going to use this row here. Right, so how many are we choosing for our apples? Well, it says we are choosing three apples. So using the coefficients in this row, we have zero, and we always start at zero, so zero, one, two, three, right? So that's our combination right there, four. There are four combinations you can have with the apples. So I'm gonna go ahead and just record that. Apples is equal to four, okay? Let's do the same thing with the pairs. So again, our total here is three. So I'm using this row right here, these coefficients, and I'm choosing two. So again, zero, one, two. So pairs, that gives us three, right? Because we landed on three. Again, zero, one, two, so we landed on three. There are three types of combinations. And then our last one, we're gonna do the same thing for oranges. In oranges, we have five, that's our total, so we're using this row down here, and we're choosing three. So zero, one, two, and three, so it's 10. Okay, now you aren't done yet. We want to figure out the total number of combinations. So all you have to do at this point is simply just multiply your value. So we're doing four times three times 10, right? So we know that four times three is 12, times 10 is gonna give us 120. This is our final answer. There are 120 different combinations. Okay, and that is it.